Hello, in this video we are going to look at HubDoc and how you access HubDoc and how you upload your bookkeeping records and documents to it for us to complete the bookkeeping. First off, you can access HubDoc directly from within Xero. So to do that, you go to the organization menu on the left-hand corner of the blue banner and go down to HubDoc. This is gonna open HubDoc in a new tab for you so that you can log in. Alternatively, if you're not already logged into HubDoc, you may prefer just to go straight to the HubDoc website. So hubdoc.com, go to the login button in the top right-hand corner and pop in your credentials. So here we go, here's the screen. So if you're already logged into Xero, you can click sign in with Xero. Because you're already logged in on the other tab, it will retain those login credentials and sign you straight in. If not, type in your email address and password and click sign in securely. If you've never accessed HubDoc before, or if you can't remember your password, you can click forgot password. Now this is going to do what many websites do, which is ask you to tell it your email address firstly, you click reset password. It's then going to send you an email to that email address with a link to take you through to set up a new password and regain access to HubDoc. Once logged into HubDoc, this is what you'll see. Now you may find once you've been using HubDoc for a while, or if we've been using it on your behalf for a while, that underneath where it says Foxglove Studios, it's actually going to have a long list of different bills and records that have been sent into HubDoc already. What we're going to do first is go to the Add Account button on the navy blue banner at the top of the screen. This is what you'll find what opens when you click the button. What you can do here is look through the list of companies and see if any of these companies in the list, and it's not just the ones that you see on the screen, those are the popular ones, there are lots of other ones as well. See if any of these suppliers are your suppliers. If they are, you can give HubDoc your login credentials for that supplier's website. HubDoc will then go away and retrieve all the bills that you've received from them thus far. And it will do this every time a new bill is given by that supplier, it will send it into Xero automatically for you. So you never need to log in, download the bill and send it to us again. It will always be there in a timely manner. If you have any suppliers where you can't do that, what we're gonna need you to do is manually get them into HubDoc. So to do that, first and easiest way is to click the upload document button again on that navy blue banner at the top. From here, you can drag and drop a PDF, a JPEG or a PNG document straight into this window and it will upload it to HubDoc. Alternatively, if you've got documents in those same file types saved onto your computer, you can click the browse button and go into your computer through HubDoc to retrieve those documents and pull them straight in. Finally, you can send them in by email. So if you have received a PDF of a bill from a supplier, then you may want to just be able to hit forward and send that straight to HubDoc. The email address there at the bottom where I have blanked it out white will have your business name. If you do want to change the email address you send them into, it is possible and I'll show you on a later slide how we do that. There's a subtle change to this slide in that instead of having a standard document upload highlighted, we now have the multi-page PDF split highlighted. The difference between these is that when we upload the documents into HubDoc using the drag and drop or the browse feature, depending on which one we have highlighted depends on how HubDoc will treat the document. If we have a PDF which has multiple pages but we have standard document upload highlighted, it will treat the multiple pages as a single document. If the document has multiple pages and we click multi-page PDF split, HubDoc is going to treat every page as a separate document when it drags it into HubDoc for you. This can be very useful if you are using a document feeder and you want to scan in a bulk load of invoices from suppliers and then have HubDoc split them out into individual pages for you. So you don't have to do it one at a time. It's a great time-saving feature. Finally, if you receive some of your bills from suppliers 
in the body of an email to save having to save that email as a PDF before we can bring it into HubDoc and treat it as a bill, we can do this in HubDoc. So to do that, we go to the settings cog in the top right hand corner on the navy blue banner. We go to the organization tab in the menu that then opens. What we can see in here is firstly, we can see that email address where we can send documents to, and we can see that here we can edit that email address so you can make it something easier to remember. Although I would recommend you copy it to your clipboard and then save it as a contact within your email client so that you never have to type it in again, you just type in HubDoc and there we go, it's saved. The tick box just below that, which says create documents, both from attachments and the body of the email. Now, if you do receive those bills from suppliers within the body of the email, you can tick the box here to change the settings so that HubDoc will create a bill for you from the email. This is a great tool. It does save a lot of time. If you're unsure about whether or not to tick this box, please give us a call and we will discuss when you should or shouldn't. Finally, the mobile app. It's a great tool. You can use the camera on your smartphone to take pictures of documents. So receipts, bills, paper records that come through the door. There is an Android and an Apple version. You take the picture directly through HubDoc and it gets it straight in there with nothing else for you to do. So that's a really good option if some of your bills, receipts and expenses are paper-based. If you'd like any help with any of this, please get in touch. Our website address is there or you can give us a call on our office number and we'd be happy to help anytime. <laughs>